We're all human beings, and we all make mistakes, and that's okay. We just need to know how to fix those mistakes. In this lesson, you'll learn the edit features that enable you to quickly correct any errors you might make while editing. Let's start on line two. You can see that the reporter wrote steno defined as dash. The reporter usually writes this steno twice when the punctuation dashes are wanted, rather than the word dash. So I'll go ahead and fix it. I'll get rid of the word dash, and I'll put in some dashes. Whoops! What the heck did I just do? Well, I pressed the wrong keys, and so I didn't get the results I wanted. That's actually a fairly common mistake when you're rushing. You think your hands are on the right keys when they're not, and you unintentionally change things you didn't mean to change, or you change them in a way that isn't what you wanted. The important thing to know about making mistakes is that it's no big deal, and no reason to panic. As soon as you recognize that you've made the mistake, you can use a feature to undo that mistake and put things back the way they were before you made the mistake. If the mistake was caused by any action except a global, for example, if the mistake was caused by typing something or deleting something or performing a command, you'll use undo. If the mistake was caused by globaling, making a dedefine, kdefine, jdefine, or edefine, you'll use a different command to undo the global. The mistake I just made was not a global. I'm not sure what keys I pressed, but I didn't get a define dialog box, and the result isn't in the pink global color, so I know I didn't make a global mistake. So, to fix this mistake, I'll use the undo command. As you can see, I can select the undo command from the edit menu, or I can press the shortcut key, control Z, or I can click the undo icon on the toolbar. Also, notice if I click the arrow next to the Undo button, I can undo a series of actions. If I just click Undo or press Ctrl Z once, it undoes the last action. As that doesn't put things back the way they were before I made my mistake, I'll click Undo again. Now that things are back to the way they were, I can slow down, think about what I want to do, and edit this correctly. Excellent! Okay. Let's take another look at undoing a mistake. Let's say that after listening to the audio, I realized that the name Brad should really be Bradley, but I only wrote Brad. If I'm not paying close attention to what I'm doing, I might do something silly like have my cursor positioned incorrectly when I start editing. Once again, I can use the undo command to undo the word I replaced. If I go too far, for example, if I click undo twice here, you'll see that I not only undid replacing the word have with the word Bradley, I also undid those dashes I inserted just a moment ago. But I don't have to reinsert those dashes. All I have to do is use redo. You can find redo under the edit menu, and notice that the shortcut key is Control shift z Or you can click this icon right next to undo. And just like undo, it has a down arrow next to it that I can click to redo more than one action at a time if I need to. Great! I've got my dashes back, and again, now all I need to do is slow down, focus on what I need to do, and perform the correct steps to edit. At the end of line 3, I have untranslated steno that should be dedefined as abuse. Once again, I've made an error. Instead of remembering to mark both strokes before defining, I just had the cursor on the first steno stroke. That means that throughout this file, the steno AU is defined as abuse, and that's in the global table, and it's in my personal dictionary, and that could cause me problems down the road if I don't fix them. Once again, it's no big deal. I can undo this global. As this is the last global I made, I can use the undo last global command from the global menu. Or I can press the shortcut key, control plus shift plus u. Excellent! Not only has the undo last global command turned the word abuse back into the original steno here on line 3, it has also fixed it everywhere in this job that the same steno appears. It has also removed it from this job's global table, and it has removed it from the personal dictionary. Okay, let's fix one more mistake. This mistake was made in a previous edit session. On line 6, I made a typing error while defining steno for the word excuse. 
Not only do I want to fix that anywhere it appears in this job, I want to make sure I remove that mistake from the global table and the dictionary where it was defined. If it's not the very last global you made during the current editing session, you won't use Undo Last Global. Instead, you will right-click the global you want to undo and select Undo Global. Remember, always undo a global rather than just redefining the mistake. Undoing a global makes sure that you don't have any entries in your job, in the Jobs Global table, or in the dictionary where you made the global mistake. That will make sure you don't experience inaccurate results in other jobs because of that global mistake. You now know how to use Undo and Undo Global to fix common editing errors. To practice mistake management, go into the training user and follow the directions for exercise number 11 in the Edit Practice document. When you're ready, proceed to the next lesson in order.